We are used to that. Our forefathers shed blood for our land. We will do so. This is my blood. That was the spirit that defined Wangare Muta Madai, born Wangare Muta on 1st April 1940 in Tetu her school life started in 1948 at Iheze Primary School in her birthplace before moving to St. Cecilia's Intermediate Primary School at the age of 11. After secondary school, Professor Madai became a beneficiary of the Kennedy Airlift Education Program in 1960, proceeding to the United States where she studied biology at Mount St. Scholastica College, Kansas, now Benedictine College. Her passion for environmentalism started while she pursued her master's degree at the University of Pittsburgh between 1964 and 1966. On her return to Kenya, she worked as a research assistant until 1967, when she proceeded to Germany for her doctorate, but it was not until 1971 that she was granted a doctorate of anatomy from the University College of Nairobi. Wangare Madai was a woman of many firsts in her decorated life. In 1971, she became the first East African woman to receive a PhD. Her rise from assistant lecturer to senior lecturer, then chair of the Department of Veterinary Anatomy and associate professor were first for any woman in the history of the university. As an activist, she is credited for initiating the fight for equal benefits for the women working for the University of Nairobi, her unyielding clamor for the restoration of multi-party democracy and the several demonstrations she organized and participated in, including the infamous Saba Saba. She also was part of the people that marched against the proposed erection of a skyscraper at Uhuru Park, pioneered protests against forest land grabbing on Mount Kenya and degradation of Karura Forest among others. Wangare Madai was a family person. She married her husband Mwangi Madai in 1969, but they were divorced 10 years later after having three children, Waweru, Wanjira and Muta. Her rub with politics started first in 1969 when her husband sought a parliamentary seat but lost. He would successfully vie for the Langata seat five years later, but her own career in politics started in 1982 when she attempted to run for her home constituency seat but was politically barred from the seat. She was elected to parliament on an act ticket in 2002 in President Kibaki's first term as president. It was while serving her parliamentary term that she rose to world fame when she won the coveted Nobel Peace Prize in 2004 in recognition of her environmental protection efforts through the Green Belt Movement, which she had founded way back in 1977. Wangare Madai was an author with at least 10 titles to her name, in addition to several columns that she graced in local and international press. She lost her tet to parliamentary seat in 2007 but maintained her campaign for environmental conservation through the movement but she remained an iconic figure, often seen in media interviews with local and international channels as she pursued her message for environmentalism. She earned not less than 20 awards and recognitions for her work between 1984 and 2011.